We're here at New York City Subway System's Coney Island Maintenance Facility. The MTA has recently started using water heated with solar power to clean their subway cars. Let's take a look. Hundreds of subway trains come here to the Coney Island Maintenance Facility each week to be inspected, repaired, and cleaned. The cleaning includes washing the bonnets or fronts of the subway cars. We clean the bonnets every evening because you know it's a lot of um, dirt and grease that's been um, picked up from the tunnel, and so we have to use the hot water system to get rid of that. So we get some clean trains out there. Almost 60,000 gallons of water per month are heated up and used at the facility. Before this system was put in, the hot water from the facility was uh, generated from an uh, electric hot water heater, and uh, it's very wasteful and inefficient. Last year, the MTA and the New York Power Authority, called NIPA, completed a project to install solar panels on the roof of the Coney Island facility. Here's how it works. Solar reflectors on the roof heat water passing through a series of metal tubes. The hot water is then pumped to a storage tank in the building and ready for use. The MTA says that the system is effective, even on cloudy days. Systems designed in such a way that uh, given the collectors and the vacuum tubes, which are very efficient in retaining heat, even on the coldest day and even a cloudy day, enough solar energy is generated to keep the water uh, not only from freezing, but to keep it at a temperature uh, up to 140 degrees that we can use for hot water. We went through this winter, very cold, very brutal winter, no problem. Bass says that the system prevents almost 84 tons of carbon per year from being emitted into the atmosphere, the equivalent of taking 15 cars off the road. It's not a huge amount. But the MTA is looking to use the experience as a stepping stone to other projects. The whole system cost about $585,000, which, as I say, NIPA finance. So the MTA didn't have to go out of pocket for a single dollar. It saves us in electricity costs about $94,000 a year. For CNN Money, I'm Steve Hargraves.